Nooney on the chair for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Carolyn Garcia wins the first set on the money line. That was the numeric lock on the day. Yes, it was. We pounded that. Made a small fortune on it. But the match... Ooh, that's not a good number, guys. Carolyn Garcia shouldn't be that low of a number against someone like Anastasia Potapova, who, look, you never know what you're going to get. She could lose to Linda Noskova, Katie Volinets, and then next thing you know, she's beating Pagula, Carolyn Garcia, and, you know, Coco Golf. But listen, guys, yesterday, the theme of the conversation was Coco Golf should not be a professional. No professional makes 52 unforced errors in a match. Guys, Carolyn Garcia made 69 unforced errors in this match. Where is that same energy at today? Where is that same energy in the comments? Where is it at? It's not going to be there because Coco has so many haters, guys. It needs to stop. Garcia made 69 unforced errors in this match today, ladies and gentlemen. 69. Most of them coming in the second and third set. Where's that energy at? Now, like I said, Anastasia Potapova, she's a good player. She's She has a good back end, but she plays 100 miles per hour. She plays fast and aggressive. She's a hardcore player that transfers that style of play to clay, and these are fast courts. She's having success with it. She's young. She's athletic. If she can control her emotions, sky's the limit for her. And, I, and I've said, look, she can win a Grand Slam. I do think she can. She gets hot. Look, she's made it to at least four quarterfinals this year already in tournaments, uh, two semifinals, of course, winning the upper lanes. Now, look, 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 look at the numbers, guys. After the first set there, Carolyn Garcia just – Put under tremendous pressure, guys. 26 unforced errors. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the second set. 26 unforced errors in the second set. 0 for 5 on break points. Now, Anastasia called for the physio. And this is uh, Carolyn Garcia after, uh, what, uh, San Diego last year. Look, these days happen at the office. Now, and look, let's talk about handshakes at the net, guys. I think Elena ostapenko has got the worst handshake at the net. She's like, look. I don't even want to shake your hand, but Carolyn Garcia low key has the and look. A lot of people think her game is sneaky, especially her serve. It's like when she does her ball toss, she kind of sneak peeks to see if you're ready and she, you know, just blasts a rocket at you. But I think Carolyn Garcia has got the sneakiest, low key, shadiest handshake at the net when she loses. It's like she's got that handshake like Leah, like whatever. <laughs> Like, whatever, you won. <laughs> like, whatever, get out of here. Guys, watch Garcia's handshake at the net. It is so low-key shady, I'm telling you. <laughs> Her handshake is hilarious. But listen, guys, you clicked on the video because Anastasia Potapova calls out Sabalenka. She wants Sabalenka. She says, Sabalenka is one of my good friends, but look, I've been wanting to play you for a long time. I want you, and I hope you're ready. Those sound like fighting words to me. Look. I like her energy. I think she's a, a drama queen for sure. Without a doubt, she's one of the most, in terms of drama queen, she's number one. I think Elena Ostapenko is number two. And of course, Anna Kylinska is number three. Those are your top drama queens this year on tour. I'm sorry, guys. I watch all the matches. I know who the drama queens are. And listen, I like those fighting words. <laughs> Garcia, her handshake is so low-key shady. But listen, guys, Sabalenka's next, and those are fighting words. She thinks she could beat Sabalenka. Let's see. I'm going to do a prediction on that video. That's going to be it. Look at her. She, she is cock. She's been hanging out with Victoria Azarenka for too long, dude. She is, whew, she is a bit much. I'm telling you guys, it's must-see TV, guys. I'm going to tune in. See you next time. This is Tennis in a Minute. Anjabor Igas Fiontech up next.